<laughs> and I, I'd not heard of Guam. I don't know. I, 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 when I first heard about Guam, I thought it was like, you know, those extra ingredients you get in shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> they might as well have declared war on jojoba. <laughs> I feel, feel sorry for them, because this has kind of put Guam on the map. Yeah. And the plan is to blow him back off it. <laughs> but the thing is, like, Trump's a businessman. Yeah. And I'm disappointed in him, cos if he could make some money out of this, if he starts doing some Keep Guam and Carry On merch... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of people this week were asking, where's Guam? Anyone familiar with Father Ted will know it was Mrs Doyle's favourite island. Guam, Guam, Guam. <laughs> but You're really doing the full gamut of racist accents tonight. <laughs> well, there's, here comes another one. <laughs> to bring you up to speed with Guam, here's a little segment we like to call... <laughs> For the record, Adam didn't do that voice. <laughs> OK, here are some Guam facts. Guam is the nearest US territory to North Korea and is home to 160,000 people five important US military bases. It has the highest per capita consumption of spam of anywhere in the world. <laughs> Is that, are they all still with Hotmail? <laughs> <laughs> so they've got themselves ready for nuclear war already, then. <laughs> so still loads of spam. That'll survive. If you work for Spam, the company, yeah. how do you send emails to each other? <laughs> <laughs> the flag of Guam looks like it was made by a seven-year-old on Microsoft Paint. <laughs> that, that flag looks like the first thing you see if you're being born in Guam. <laughs> What's, what's that? Al Gore's just pulled out of the show? <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I, I understand. Is it OK that today the UK raised the terror threat from su substantial to severe? No. Is it OK that Australia has done the same, except theirs has gone from crikey to struth? <laughs> <laughs> that is the best one of those you've ever yeah. done.